So in today's video on golf performance, we are going to cover what structures are involved when we go from the top of our backswing to basically the horizontal club position as we're coming down. Now, through research studies, they've actually identified which structures are primarily involved. So if we have a restriction of those structures, it's going to affect your golf performance, your accuracy, your, your distance. It'll, it'll have a huge influence on this. So Mickey, you ready for some treatment in there? Yeah. So primary structures involved. First, we're going to start out, just bring the tape down here a little bit, on the uh, left middle trapezius. So I'm going to get you to bring this down here. And just bring your head down there. Doing okay there? Yeah. Back. Feeling that a bit? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit. Good. No problem there? No. All right. Now, we probably I'd probably do about three to five passes on this normally if I was treating it. You doing okay? Oh yeah. Now, next one I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna actually go down to the left rhomboids, and I'm gonna get you to come across like a stretch. Put my hands across here, pull it in. How are we doing there? That's, that's pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go across that again. Good. No problem. Oh. And back. Okay, so these are all structures that they basically found that are most commonly involved from the top of the backswing to the horizontal club position. But of course, I'm working on a right handed golfer. I have to do the opposite structures. Of the body if we're dealing with a left-handed golfer. You okay? Oh yeah. Okay, now let's have you lie on your back, please. So the next one we're going on to is the pectoralis major. You okay with me working on the area? Yeah. Okay. Down here. Yeah, just push your breast down there. Thank you. How are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Tight. Just a wee bit. Okay, so I'm moving again in linear lines, and I'm gonna start moving it around a little bit here. You okay? Oh, yeah. But it really makes a difference, doesn't it? As soon as you Holy start cow. going through that, we're actually able to access the fascia a lot easier, open it up, increase range of motion in a short period of time. Good. Again, probably three to five passes at least. Do I feel it start to loosen up a bit? And I'm gonna have you lie on your side, please. Get this down a little bit here. So I'm gonna get on the right serratus anterior. Now, as I go on to here, you okay? Yes. <laughs> side. Now there's a section between latissimus dorsi and serratus anterior. We commonly get a kind of a groove in between here where you can get a restriction to. Okay, feeling that a bit? Mm-hmm. You've gone silent on me again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Perfect. Oh, that's better. A little bit easier? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get you to lie on your back, please. So, the next area I'm going to get onto is going to be your bicep femoris. So, getting on the hamstring. Oh my gosh. That's yeah, pretty tight. <laughs> so, kind of we get on the long head of the bicep femoris. On the left hand side. There we go. And after we've gone through that a few times, we're going to move on to your adductors, which is usually pretty tender. You okay? Oh, yeah. Let's take it down. Good. So the amazing thing about working on these structures, if we can actually get some information from the golf pro or the patient comes to you and says, you know, I'm just having a problem in this one area, um, and they give you, you know, basically show you on the swing where they're having an issue, you can immediately address it. You okay? Yeah. That's 
much better already. Okay, like, start to change a bit. Yeah. In. Good. So I'm going to get you to turn on your side, please, facing over. Bring this down a bit. Okay, so I'm going to get on your loop max on the left hand side. Are you okay? Yes. Hold it tight. Yes. Okay, and once again, I'm going to try and get a little bit of motion in there. You feel that? So if I, if I just go like this, you feel it to a certain degree. Yeah. So not that much. If I just take my hand here and I go like this, oh, wait, less. nothing hard yeah. at all. But if I go here and then I start bringing the leg around into rotation, oh, my gosh. huge oh, difference. Oh, my gosh. Doing okay? Okay, now I'm gonna let you have a seat. Bring your left leg down to the side there. Bring it up a little bit. And then I wanna get onto the left vastus lateralis. So the lateral quad. Okay, get this back, grab your leg, pull it in, and back. And again. And again. Hang in there. <laughs> it's pretty intense, isn't it? Just, yeah. Back. And again. Yeah. One more time. Take it back. Slightly hold back. Hold. Bring it in just slightly. Bring it in just slightly. And again, bring it in just slightly. Doing okay? Yeah. Good. And again. Perfect. Okay. So, besides getting in there and actually looking at all these different uh, muscle, soft tissue structures, I would also take a look at the joints of the mid-back, the low back, the neck, looking for decreases in range of motion, because we are one kinetic chain and that involves both soft tissue and joints. But this can be extremely effective at uh, improving your performance, preventing injuries. This is very, very effective work.